Hello, my name is Durga Darshini, daughter of Saulia Pan, and today we are going to present about 8 to 1 multiplexer. Like okay, today I would like to present about multiplexer. So I will explain what is a multiplexer. What is a multiplexer? Multiplexer can be called as MUX. It's a digital circuit that has several input and a single output. Um, they have a selection of one of the input is done by the selector input called selector and then it has an output selector at a time uh, let's say if several input the output will be select from uh, the input uh, at one time it will select one, uh, one input and then it is also known as a data selector a max as any data input on output signal uh, let's say m is the signal input we, uh, we can Calculate how many uh, input with the equation to m equal to n. Okay, let's discuss about the type of multiplexer. Multiplexer have four types, which is two to one multiplexer, which means two input and one output, uh, f one selector, and then four to one multiplexer, which have four input and one output and two selector, then eight to one and sixteen to one. Uh, eight to one we have eight input and sixteen to one we have sixteen input. Bird on a tree. I'm just saying. This is the example of 8 to 1 uh, multiplexer. It's the block diagram. And this is the truth table of the, uh, of the multiplexer, which has three selectors and one output each. So, for an example, uh, when, when it's 0, 0, 0, the, the selectors are 0, 0, 0, the output is D0, which means at 0, 0, 0, only one LED light, lights up in the project. And then same goes to 0, 0, 001, 0, 010, 0, and 0, 011, 1, and 100. 0, 0. We did up to D4, which means only six of the LED lights in the FPGA part. Next, after doing the truth table, we got into the Boolean equation, and we got the equation out of the truth table just now. And this is the equation we got. First. Y is, equal, y is the output and this is all the selectors and the output from the equation. So D0 S2 bar S1 bar S0 bar or D1 S2 bar S1 bar S0 D2 S2 bar S1 S0 bar D3 S2 bar S1 S0 or D4 S2 S1 S0 bar or D5 S2 S1 bar S0 D6 S2 S1 S0 bar or D7 S2 S1 S0. This is the logic circuit we got out of the uh, out of the equation just now. And these are the buffers A, which means there's a not gate for A bar, B and B not gate and C not gate, and then we we combine it and we get a combinational circuit out of the Boolean equation just now. Sitting here. I got time. Okay, now I will discuss about the uses of multiplexer. Multiplexer can be used in data communication, in telecommunication. And then uh, multiplexer is used in radio. Uh, in many channels, we can uh, choose one uh, channel at one time that is a multiplexer. Then load data with a computer, the internet one. And then the function generator, we can use the function generator. Uh, we can use multiplexer in function generator, which means from um, many input waveform, uh, we can choose one. Okay, this is the example of multiplexer. Uh, let's say we have a, a sound system, and then the sound system is connected with the MP3 player, laptop, uh, digital satellite, and digital cable TV. So how we select uh, to play in sound system at one time? So let's say the selected source input is 0, 0 for MP3, 0, 1 to laptop, on zero to satellite and on one to cable TV. So if when the zero zero, the sound system will uh, choose MP3 to play the sound, and when zero one choose the laptop, and on zero it will choose the satellite, and on one it will choose the cable TV. It's clear to see. Okay, in this project we use the quarters to form the uh, Verilog coding. Uh, to implement the multiplexer in FPGA board. 
So this is the uh, value of coding for multiplexer. We uh, we use uh, two type of uh, coding, with, uh, which is uh, one structure, another one is case statement. So first, I explain the structure one. Uh, first module max A is our module name, and then selector SEL selector. The I is the input. Then Q Q Q one Q two. Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, and Q7 is output. Then we uh, declare the NOT gate first. No, we have three NOT gate in the uh, multiplexer. So first NOT gate, second and third. So this one is selector uh, 0, 1, and 2. So this NOT select means 0, and select means uh, 1. Okay. Okay, this one is N, for the end gate. We have uh, we use six end gate uh, for six e, uh, output. So the first one here is the output, then followed by input. So first one for let's say end gate A1. A1 is the name for end gate. So Q1 is the output. Not select, not select zero, not select one, not select two, and input um, in bracket zero. That means when Selector 0 and selector 1, selector 2, 0, and the input will choose on. And we end with the end model so that so that we can run the value of coding. Now I'll explain about the case statement. First we begin with the module uh, module line, which is the name of the module, and then we declare all the ports, input and output ports. Then we have to declare it one by one, which is the input port and output port. For example, here the input port is I uh, and there's a six inputs and three selectors, so 0, 1 and 2 and then we have output and back and then we use the always statement and then here we have selector and then we begin and change and then when we select 0 to 6 and these are the outputs from 0 to 6. For an example, when uh, 0 is selected, the output will be I0, which means the LED at I0 will light up. And then we use end it with the default statement. Uh, for default statement, the meaning is when one of the lines are wrong, it will follow the default statement. And then we have to end the module. Now I will explain about the test bench. Uh, just now we uh, saw the value of coding. So the test bench is to, uh, to identify the output of the value of coding just now. So first we declare the module name max a underscore tv and then we declare the wire uh, wire for the output and register for the input and the integer i, the i later I will use uh, for the for. Then max, this max a is the name for the value of just now and then uh, in bracket we declare the q, q1, q2, q3, the output part and the input and selected. And then we begin with the initial and begin for i0, i less than or equal to 7, i equal to i plus 7. So the i equal to 0 is the initial, this one is the condition, and this one is the increment. So that means it will start from 0 until 7 and uh, it will increase one by one. And then begin the, this one is the delay. Uh, then the selected equal to i, the, just, the, just now we declare integer i, uh, so the i is we use as the selector. And then we end, uh, end the coding, and then end module. At 0, 0, 0, the Q1 lights up, and it shows 1. And then at 0, 0, 1, Q2 lights up, it shows 1. And 0, 1, 0, Q3 lights up, it shows 1. And when each of... From up here... The 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. world seems small, we can see...